simplifying rational expressions. And rational expressions are all over calculus. And so you've got to get um, really good at, at simplifying rational expressions. Now let's say we, we want to do, let's say for example, we want to simplify um, x cubed minus a over x squared minus 25 times x squared plus 10x plus 25 over x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay, so all you've got to do, well you're multiplying, so all you've got to do is first realize that you cannot absolutely cannot say, oh, x squared, x squared, these cancel. Huge no-no. You cannot do that. All right. Everything has to be multiplying together for um, you to be able to divide uh, the terms uh, from top to bottom. So, uh, the first step involves uh, factoring everything. And so here, um, x cubed minus 8, well, that's a difference of cubes, like we just talked about, because 8 is 2 cubed. And so if you remember what we just did, this guy factored would be x minus 2. The first one would be x squared. The last one would be 2 squared or 4, positive. And then in the middle, remember, it's just 1 times the other with this opposite sign up here. So it would be plus 2x. Okay, so that's this first one. Alright, and then this one we'll do by trial and error, but this one's actually quite easy to figure out. Um, we know we need an x and an x, and two numbers that multiply to give you 25. There aren't many options, and it looks like 5 and 5 will work. Okay, so that's that one. Um, and then we have x squared minus 25. Well, that's obviously a difference of squares. So this is going to be x plus 5, x minus 5. And then the last one is also a trial and error, but again, not a, not a difficult one. Um, this is going to be x. Actually, it's not a trial and error one. Notice that, um, actually, if you try this, um, let me erase it. x squared plus 2x plus 4 isn't factorable. Almost got me there. Alright, but... But, we do notice, take a look around you, x squared plus 2x plus 4 is actually right here. So, this guy, although it's not factorable, is going to cancel out with this guy up here. And so this is the fun part. Um, the x plus 5's cancel. And so we're just left with x minus 2 on the top, x plus 5 over x minus 5. And that's it. Okay, now the next one is insanely important, and the next thing we're going to be doing is um, adding and subtracting rational expressions. And um, this all over calculus we're going to be doing, um, adding and subtracting rational expressions, um, as well as complex rational expressions, and we'll do that one in a minute. Um, but let's say you want to, for example, add... Um, you know, something like uh, 8 over 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 plus 3x plus 2 over 2x squared minus x minus 10. Okay. So, the first thing you need to do is um, you need to factor the denominators. 
because you need to find the least common denominators and you can't do that unless you factor these. So to factor this guy, just like we've been doing, um, here we're going to do um, 2x and x and we'll do uh, 5 and 2 and they're both going to be negative. Does that work? Sorry, 5 and 1, what am I doing? 5 and 1. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so then this guy, um, we're going to do uh, 2x and x, and um, two numbers that multiply to give us 10. So we're going to do 5 over here, and 2, and we'll do a negative and positive. And so if you verify that, that, that actually works just fine. Okay, now... Um, what we need to do now is figure out what each one needs to be the same. So here, notice we have a 2x minus 5, x minus 1. But it's missing an x plus 2, so we're going to multiply top and bottom here x by x plus 2. Okay, and on the same note, this one's missing an x minus 1, so we're going to multiply top and bottom by x minus 1. Okay, so now, um, so what we've got here is um, one big fraction now with the denominator is going to be um, x plus 2. Now, this is the common denominator times 2x minus 5 times x minus 1. Okay, and then we'll, um, we'll distribute this guy, so we'll get 8x plus 16, and this will foil this entire thing out, and so this will give us a plus 3x squared. Um, let's do this the fast way. This is going to be minus 3x plus 2x is going to be minus x, and then minus 2. And so then what we end up getting, if we combine like terms, we're going to get 3x squared plus 7x plus 14 all over x plus 2, 2x minus 5, x minus 1. Okay. And then you check to see if um, this guy's factorable so that you can cancel out with this. But um, you guys can try, but it turns out that this is the uh, final answer. And uh, that's it.